Hello everybody. Today I'm back with Disney Sources Arena once again. Now I didn't mean to plan this, but I just so happened to have enough tournament exchange tokens to get my uh, 100th chip towards Sean Yu, which means that he is now star level 7. Uh, oh my god, that's amazing. He is at the maximum star level, my only character who has ever gotten that. So uh, I guess I now have access to the other exchange. I don't know if it'll show up yet. Yeah, so now I can get... I don't know if these change every day. I don't care about Steamboat Mickey at all. But uh, I can start working towards Shere Khan now. I have all the other ones. I wish that uh, I knew I could get Quora um, before this because I spent so long trying to get her. That's alright. We can start working towards Shere Khan. So I'll have two villains now with uh, um, Randall and him. But today we've got two heroes. First one up, Sally. Who hopefully you've seen her unlocking video and I've I've actually tested her out a little bit I actually do like her skills I don't know how helpful she'll be at this at the level she's at but we also have genie now I haven't tried him but I played against him and I think theirs were a lot higher level than mine but either way some of his skills are insane and you can do some crazy stuff with his skills um, he can bring himself back to life he can bring others back to life he can clone himself uh, hopefully we get a taste of some of that today. So we're just going to go into it. We're going to be doing the Heroes campaign today. Um, just because I don't have enough stamina for the Grand campaign. And I actually just got to this next section. So hopefully my uh, characters are strong enough to do it. Taking out uh, some of those guys and bringing in these two here. Uh, there's Genie. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, I always forget. We're doing a spell as well. And we'll do Duke Kaboom today. I should have done the Snogies when I did the Frozen ones, but whatever. We're doing Duke Kaboom. I'm locking him right here. It is kind of cool to have him just be a character, even though he is a spell. I have seen way too much of Duke Kaboom being used in the um, player versus player arena. I'm sick of seeing Duke Kaboom. But I'm going to have to see him a little bit more when I use him today. Uh, we're keeping the aliens. Putting away the comet. And bringing in Duke. We need to switch these guys out again. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've seen both of what they have to offer. I'm curious to see how it's going to go. Oh, what? I just wasted his move. Okay, so this one uh, puts the opponent to sleep, which means that I think they can't do anything for as long as they're asleep. The fog machine is basically like um, what Dumbo does, where he makes them uh, blind, which means there's a chance that they will uh, that I'll be able to evade their attacks. I'm gonna do the fog one here. It also does damage. I'm hoping that uh, that they'll. E or I will be able to evade those attacks. We're gonna try and stun him. Oh, he's just dead. <laughs> but, um, let's see. So here, um, this looks like it's just a big hit. Oh, and also silences them. And this one, it heals them. Where was the one that, um, okay, so this one, this one's defeated. Instead, restore 177 health to them and grant invincibility until the end of the, tur the current turn. So yeah, you're able to like save a character. I've seen that too. Um, but what is his move where he like clones himself? I guess I'll just do the this one. That's not the cloning one. Maybe I have to have him more leveled up to do that? I have no idea. Let's not heal. She'll do enough damage there. All right, we're gonna try out the Deadly Nightshade on this main guy here. So it will put him to sleep. So we should avoid hitting him so he stays asleep. They're kind of targeting Genie, which I don't like. But let's just focus on some of these side characters. Oh, see, oh, he's already awake. Never mind, we're good. I didn't want to wake him up or anything. So let's try out this bunny. Oh, so it heals. I'll do it on myself. Uh, oh, 
It only clears. Ugh, I kind of wasted that. Um, that move only like um, takes negative effects off, so that was kind of a waste. That's all right. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I hate you guys. All right, Duke Kaboom is coming in. Gonna hit him a little bit. Wow. Okay, that was just sad. Um, I've seen Duke Kaboom do a lot better for sure. Maybe I need to have him more leveled up. But um, he should like do a pretty good amount of damage on all heroes. I didn't see specifically how much damage he did, but I feel like it should have been more than that. Um, but yeah, my main three heroes are definitely leveled up enough to make it through this on their own. At least for these first few levels. I think we'll do uh, three or four levels today. We'll see. Um, I definitely am going to have a surplus of heroes, so we're not going to have a problem um, showcasing all of them in the heroes campaign, which makes me not want to do too many levels with the new heroes. So maybe I'll just try and do four, and we'll see how much time it takes. But let's just do the sleeping one on him. That's actually a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, we didn't even go to sleep. Um, let's just see if we can kill him. Yeah. So they're both... Uh, they might die from this. Nope. But, uh... Let's just see Genie's regular skill. We haven't done it yet. Okay, so that kind of reminds me of... Um... Of Hades' skill. Right? Here's her regular skill as well, which does put that... Um, skull on them. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I guess I could read up on it when we get to her again. I really should learn what that is because a lot of people actually do that. Um, I don't know a lot of the specifics about this game, if I'm being honest. Um, let's see. So, inflicts continuous damage, dealing up to 89 damage over two turns. Okay, so that skull just means that they're going to be, it's kind of like a poison um, effect, you know? Also, the only guy I targeted did not get uh, the the blind, which is just sad. We've got this. We're going to kill the middle guy, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, um, normally I wouldn't bring in, like if I was doing Disney Heroes Battle Mode, I wouldn't bring in three really strong heroes. But I think I actually need to, because they are strong, but like they could definitely die. You know what I'm saying? Also, Duke Boom did his did his job there. Proud of him. Let's see how quickly we can get rid of this last guy. We might as well just use the big guns on him. Why do I even do that? It's not necessary. Genie almost died. That kind of pissed me off. That's okay. So we got three stars on that one. Um, they didn't target a specific character like they did last time. So we did it just fine. And uh, I guess I should get over my thoughts on Genie and Sally. Now, they're both classic characters. Every Disney game is usually going to have both of them. I know that uh, that Sally is not yet in, what is it, Disney Mirrorverse? Genie is. I think he's pretty much a staple. But um, what I'm saying is that when you have a Disney game that lasts for a while, you're most likely going to have both of them. They are pretty classic, and especially when you have like Jack Skellington in your game, Sally will usually be next, you know? Uh, they were a bundle deal when they came in Disney Heroes Battle Mode, and they were, the, they were originally in this game, both of them. Uh, not only both Jack Skellington and Sally, but Genie and Sally. They were all in this game right away. And um, their, their skills are interesting. I've never really talked about this that, that much. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but this game was completely different before it was released worldwide. And um, I never saw what Genie and Sally's skills were before the game changed. And it is interesting to me that they were absolutely different before uh before it changed like this because I have showcases on characters like Buzz and Jack Skellington and Ariel and they were all different um, the basics are sort of the same but they weren't completely so it is interesting now that when I'm doing all these new character showcases that they used to be completely different characters they all did different things 
Of course, the game also worked different. It wasn't really a turn-based game whatsoever. It was a lot closer to what Disney Mirrorverse is, actually. It, again, I highly recommend you go and look at my old videos on this game and see how similar it is to um, Disney Mirrorverse. Because it is a little surprising, and I kind of felt the same way where I didn't completely enjoy playing this game when it first came out because of the gameplay. And I kind of feel the same way about Disney Mirrorverse, but uh, also, um, I, 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 uh, I do enjoy Disney Mirrorverse, I can't lie. Um, maybe just because I don't find it all that difficult yet, even though I'm kind of playing on easy mode, but um, I guess I kind of went off on a tangent there. I should be talking about uh, Jeannie and Sally. And my opinions on them is that I like them both. Uh, again, I've seen all their skills in action. They can absolutely be helpful. And um, they each have different traits that I like. I'm sad that uh, Genie doesn't seem to um, be doing the one skill that I was mentioning where he kind of clones himself or someone else, I think. And maybe that isn't even him. You know, I just happened to be playing where it was him and someone else. But I think it is Genie that does that. We're going to do one more and then I'll be done. But um, he also, like I said, when someone gets close to death, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to stop that. But the only thing is that he's been dying right away every time, so we haven't been able to showcase that. But I believe, maybe it's just a chant. Okay. I... That's kind of comedic timing, though, honestly. But what I was saying was... Um, I don't know if it has a chance to trigger or will absolutely trigger, but um, I believe on like the very first person that is about to die, he's supposed to save them, quote unquote, which basically means that uh, if you ever seen Maui in action, he does the thing where he's invincible for two rounds. He basically puts that on um, the person that's about to die for one round. Which is absolutely helpful, especially if like Sean Yu. And Sean, my Sean Yu is being targeted, and I have Genie on my team. I just let Genie, um, I just let Genie save him. He's invincible for one round. He gets at least one more turn to, um, to get another hit in. Since he is my strongest character, that is absolutely useful. And I've seen like Genie bring multiple people back to life and everything. He can be crazy. I don't know how, what tier he's specifically in. Um, I don't remember him being like top tier. But maybe he's in the A's or the B's or something. I really don't know. But um, I, like I said, I could definitely see him being really good. Uh, it is a little scary that Jack Skellington died. But I still don't think we're going to have a problem or anything. Especially now that we have both of these skills here. Dude Kaboom might finish off this guy in the back. Oh, I wasn't targeting him. Never mind. Uh, so we're down to two. We're definitely going to get two stars here. But I'm not worried about losing. As you can see, they can stay on their ground, especially Buzz. So that's it for today. I think I accurately showcased all three of them. Again, I think I was missing some of the things that, um, that Genie can do. But that's all right. Uh, maybe if he's really good, I'll eventually add him to my team or something. But yeah, you also got to see me max out uh, Sean Yu. And of course, Duke Kaboom was there for the ride as well. Uh, once again, I love Sally and Genie. Not only as uh, just characters and their character designs. I love how they look in this game specifically. But also, um, I like their skills a lot. So that's my opinion on that. And I'm done for tonight. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.